Hello, y'all. This is your girl, Sharice, and I'm ready to cut the gossip and get straight to the game. So, this video is about um, Nikocado, Avocado, and Stephanie Wu. I know for a fact that you see it in the title, and I know what you know it's going to be about. Yeah, so I was up this morning scrolling through, um, whatchamacallit, YouTube, and I see Nikocado, Avocado responds to Stephanie Wu. And guess what? I knew it. If you watch my first video, I said the same thing. I said that she was being overdramatic, and I do not believe that Nick Acavo, Avocado, had anything to do with some type of making her feel inferior in the videos or making her feel like her sexual predator have done. Now, this is my opinion. If you don't know the story, here's the backstory. Most YouTubers do know the backstory, but here's the backstory. Run down in a quick second so I can honestly give my opinion. Nika Cavo, Avocado, and Stephanie Wu was supposed to do a video. She flaked on him. Nika Cavo, Avocado, expressed his disappointment with one of his friends. While they was out partying, and one of his friends was Honey Eats. While they was out partying, they had made a joke about it. They've had a few drinks. They made a few jokes. Like I said in my video... They were cracking on her. Okay. So she got offended because they was cracking on her. And then Nick put in one of his um, community posts in his IG that he's going to expose someone. So she felt like it was going to be her. So she went and did a whole response before he even could. As he said it per se in his video, he was on a flight while she was making this video. Only two people know about it, which is Zach Ochoa and her. Stephanie w Sue. So, I knew she was full of a whole bunch of games. I have seen things on her channel, and she's very manipulative. Like Nick said in his video, she turned a lot of stuff around. She the one that faked on him, and then wanted to get in one of his collabs with Zach Ochoa. You know what? Every time people just say, oh, you be careful when you see people who's supposed to be innocent. Cause she, cause because Nick Cavo is so dramatic, and he's with the shenanigans all the time, people just assume and ran and ran with it. People assume that he did that, he made her feel like that, and they ran with it. And now he has all these people on his back, mad at him, and she was in the wrong. Cause I knew it. I had seen things on her channel and i knew she was manipulative she's got merchandise out now in and out of sleep nick made some great points in his video if she was so hurt if she was so traumatized by what he did why is she selling merch she's tagging him in her videos that she made the exposed video per for him she tagged him in there and put hi nick i know you seeing this she never used any logos or tags Nick exposed her with that. Now she's using logos and tags. He exposed the fact that her views has continued to been going down for the past year or so. So she needed dramatics. This was the dramatic that she needed. I said everything in my video. Now I still do believe that Nick Ocavo Avocado needs a little bit of help. But I liked him better in the exposed video with he just being his honest self without the dramatics. He was believable. He was entertaining. And you can obviously know that this guy, he was telling the truth. He had so many of what you guys go check out his video. I'm not going to give the whole rundown to it. I just want to say that I'm right. I knew I was right. She wasn't as innocent as she pretended to be. He exposed her greatly. He had posts that he's seen his, he had videos, talks of where he had seen, talked to his other friend about it. I mean, he was venting and raging. And they knew that. And she was out with Zach Ochoa. He's the MSR guy, SMR guy that don't even talk. In her videos. In some of her videos where she said that she was excuse me, fearing Nick Acabo Avocado, that was her, the, the, her, that was her idea to do the whole, it was a video where he was with Zach Ochoa, I remember that, and she got the last chicken and Nick was looking at her all kind of funny, 
she really wasn't looking at him funny. She wasn't even looking at him at all. And so that made it seem like he was dogging her and he was doing stuff to her. She's capitalizing right now off of their beef. She's capitalizing off of their beef. Within a few hours, she, uh, within a few hours, this girl, um, sorry, somebody uh, sent me something. Within a few, within a day or so of her video and how she was so traumatized, like Nick said, over the in and out of sleep, she made merchandise. To sell. For people to buy. How can you think. You know what. And I've been through some traumatizing situations. And I'm like Nick. If I don't like somebody. I'm deleting them. I'm blocking them. And they gone. I'm deleting them. I'm blocking them. And I'm gone. He is so right. That's how I knew it was the drama. All the fake crocodile tears. And all the rest of that. And that is such a shame. But she, And I said that also to my video. She did this to cancel Nick. She knew he was drama. She knew the, how he kicks that drama. And she did that to cancel Nick. She did that to cancel Nick. She is manipulative. She is undermining. And I seen that. You guys can watch my first video. It starts off a little bit. Of, it starts off a little slow. It's not so... um dramatic as this one but i'm telling you right now i said everything that nick said now with the receipts no but for my personal opinion how i seen her video how i always watch nick acavo avocado i always watch him like i said i slowed down on watching him because it was getting too much drama i don't think he needs to do all that to sell his brand a little bit of dramatics here and there, cool. But like I said, I don't think he needs to do all that to sell his brand. Because when he, and I love his exposed videos. I like that true, authentic self of him. And if Nick, if you ever see this, that's what I like. I like your true, authentic self of you. You said so much, but not saying everything. You didn't have to be like, oh, who, ah, who. You didn't have to do none of that because you sold me. You sold me. You sold me. And I will say that. And I knew that from the first beginning because I seen some of that in her video. It was she was doing an in and out video. She was eating an in and out video. And I was like, this girl looks so innocent, but she not. The subjects they was talking about, it was highly sexual. And then I think about that. Now you talking about all this and you was assaulted and you was molested and you was raped. And you talking about all these type of things like this on your channel? Such a shame. And it's so unfortunate that she pulled a stunt like that with Nick. He has more receipts. He has tons of receipts. He has more receipts. Sorry, I'm moving this, but I'm feeling uncomfortable on this couch. And I'm actually holding my camera. I'm about to work on getting like a little tripod so I don't have to hold my camera. But I mean, Nick Acavo, Avocado, I am so proud of you. I am so glad you got those receipts. I am so glad you put them receipts out. Even though double-digit people, I think it was like 50-something people didn't like them. They didn't, they didn't like it because he was telling the truth. Nick told the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I thought it was nice that he did apologize to some of the people that he tagged in there that they didn't know anything about it. I thought that was super nice of him because he didn't really have to do that neither. You know, that's kind of like adding people in stuff that wasn't even in there. But that's, And that's the little drama stuff that I'm talking about. But this girl actually was capitalizing off of this stuff. Which is so unfortunate to do people like that. And she looked so innocent. And she looks absolutely so sweet. Y'all go watch Nikakavo Avocado post. But I'm just saying, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. In my first video, I said it all. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know the receipts. It was just just because of knowing him and watching him and seeing a couple of her videos. That's why I didn't subscribe to her channel. I was like, ah, she's a little, mm, I don't know. I kind of got the fake vibe from her when I watched her video, to be honest with you. I kind of got that little fakish vibe. And she cut and she edited stuff and her crying 
Really, girl? You got to be ashamed of yourself. Here's your game. If your channel ain't doing good, figure out something else. Don't try to throw nobody up under the bus because your channel ain't doing so well. Period. And I'm out.